imagination you can draw. Pictures can tell a story, they can capture it all. Visit the library, read a book each day, and we have a story you can illustrate. Find a subject you like and then jump in and explore. You'll find yourself reading more and more. Every time you go there, you get more smart. When you're done at the library, you can help with our arts. Mr. Dewey's has a story, but he needs your help. If there aren't any pictures, it can go on the shelf. Help from friends and your imagination, too. You can make an illustration and we'll say thank you. You can make an illustration and we'll say woo-hoo. You can make an illustration and we'll say yabba dabba do. <laughs> we got our hair back. <laughs> hey kids, it's me, Mr. Castiglione, your art teacher. And me, Ms. Smith, your other art teacher. And don't forget about me, Mr. Deweese, your reading teacher. <laughs> How did you guys grow your hair back? <laughs> Through the magic of editing. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is episode seven of our crowdsourcing illustration project. And here's how it goes. Um, I'm reading you my story one page and one episode at a time. And this week, we're dedicating this episode to the second graders. And your job is while I'm reading, you listen and you get imaginations and ideas in your mind. So second graders, here we go. Page seven. As I stand awaiting my certain demise, mom gently jogs to the cornfield, careful not to startle the cow. She loops around the cow. Now it's between us. Wow, that was neat. Yep, I another good really one. Really, thanks. Had yeah. an idea of what my illustration would look yeah, like. Yeah, that painted a picture in my imagination. Yeah. I bet the kids have some ideas. But yeah, and remember, mm -hmm. it, it is my story, as you oh. reminded me before. Yes. So I, I also have an idea, and in my notes. I have child standing at open gate slash uh, mom jogging to the cow area. Okay. okay. Well, again, that's a lot of possibilities. Yeah, I'm thinking there's a lot of different ways you could draw that. But let's show them one idea just to get the kids inspired, motivated, maybe some idea of how they might compose the parts of their picture. Yes, you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have in mind? Well, there's a mom running. Okay. And I know it's hard for kids to draw someone running. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have never done that before. So I got some pictures for them to to get inspired by. We have a little slideshow that they can look at. You're so helpful. Yeah. Well, I'll put it uh, a link. You can click. If you're on my website, you can just go to the side and see it. Okay? So the mom's running in the arms of a zig and a zag, right? And then, how would the background be? Like that, right? Yeah, uh-huh. And maybe her hair is going. Of course, there's not much detail on here. Right. That's the kid's job to do. And then she's all stressed. No, she would be like this. She's all stressed out like, no! <laughs> uh, and then there's the kid. He's kind of like dumbfounded. He's like sort of waiting. Or maybe it's a she. Maybe you're going to make a girl for yours. Sort of sit, standing there waiting. And then I don't know what to do for the background. I'm thinking maybe there's some sort of horizon line to show where the, the sky starts. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I like, I just was thinking for this one there'd be some kind of side view. Okay. And so I'm thinking that. Um, well, he's supposed to be, he had an idea that he might be at the fence, the broken fence. So I think I'm going to do a horizon line, too. Okay. With my fence that I've been doing. But, you know, maybe part of the fence is down. Right. Right. Um, and let's have him maybe here. Standing at the broken fence. I can't see him this one. Oh, 
Oh, those are the fence posts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Oh, he's at the fence. at the fence. Oh. Maybe he's scared. Yeah. Try to see with the marker. And uh, let's say if I have my cow here, maybe the back of him. So I'm gonna have to look at how to draw it. And maybe mom is here and she's like yelling for him as he starts to run. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And oh, did I make the mom jog the wrong way? Well, she's is she going to him. get him? I don't know because you put him here. Yeah. He's running. Maybe the cow and yours is over here. Maybe he's, he's got to make a loop around. Him. Yeah. Maybe I did uh, it backwards. Yeah. And she starts. She's to running run. him towards. Yeah. All right, kids. I know what you're looking at. You're looking at my drawing for sure. Maybe a little Miss Smith strong. You're thinking, man, I there's no details in here. Remember, the details are your job. These are just little skip. These are just starting points, kids. Yeah. All right. If you want to learn how to draw a cow, we've got some slideshows of cows. You can look it up yourself. Uh, you can click the links for some inspiration. Um, and you do not have to draw this. You can draw however you like it. Okay. This is just a starting point some ideas. We cannot wait to see what you come up with. Yeah. And you can use any material you'd like. Mm -hmm. Pencil, colored pencil. Yeah. This, uh, one of the artists that we talked to said, uh, suggested making things out of rocks. Mm. Or sand. I do like recycled items. Ooh. Ooh, like pop bottles. Like, you know, the old bottles, you could use them for like heads. Maybe oh, string for hair. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Or maybe cutting paper. Ooh. Gluing it. That would be nice. Or, you know, just crown is fine if that's mm -hmm. all you have. Whatever materials you guys want to use is up to you. We cannot wait to see your ideas. To turn in your illustration, you could just wait and turn it in during art class next year. Or you could use it as an excuse to visit one of Virginia's most spectacular libraries, the TCC Virginia Beach Joint Use Library. You have got to come here. Just ask your parents to drive you to the Virginia Beach TCC Joint Use Library and walk to the back to the children's area. Find the golden treasure box in the back of the room and open it up. Make sure to take out a folder from the top of the box and fill out the form inside. It has a place where you can think of a title for Mr. DeWeese's story, but you have to visit the library in order to have a say in it. Your parent is also gonna need to sign this part, so don't leave that part out. Place the form and the artwork into the folder and close the treasure box. We'll be checking in every so often. I cannot wait to see your work. If you forget exactly what to do, don't worry. The librarians are very helpful. Just ask them for help and they will show you what to do and where to go. Now, if you're not from Virginia Beach, Virginia, but you still want to make an illustration for Mr. DeWeese's story, you can simply ask for your parents' help to take a nice photograph of your work. Take the photo and email it to me, Mr. Castiglione, at landstownart at gmail.com. Be sure to let me know who you are and where you're from. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Guess what? It's that time again. Oh no, no, you just grew your hair back. It's time for don't cut reading or art out of your life. Haircut wheel, spin time. I refuse to do it this time. Come Somebody on. else spin the wheel. Come on. No. All right, I'll do it this time. All right. All right, ready? <laughs> oh my goodness. This Whoa. Is gonna be <laughs> awesome. You guys see that at home? Oh man, my <laughs> wife's gonna be upset at me She's when I come so home. Mad. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah. I've never done this before, but I think it'd be kind of fun. I might go buzz cut instead of full on ball. Anyways, if you want to see this next week, tune in. Kids, we really want you to be inspired by this project. That's why we're doing silly things like this. We also have some wonderful interviews with real professional children's book illustrators 
they did like little, you know, little snippets, little inspiration. You can check them out at the bottom of your screen. Um, Remember, it's really awesome to get advice and guidance from experts. So check out that link. You'll love it. Okay. And it's that time again. I wonder what interesting thing they're going to find out about the library this time. Yeah, this is an amazing place. And it, for Lansdowne students, it's right in your all's backyard. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Elena. I am the youth librarian here at the Joint Youth Library. There's the beautiful children's room. We have books on everything under the sun, fiction, nonfiction, chapter books, graphic novels. We have video games you can check out, music, movies, and all sorts of fun children's programs as well. We have a Minecraft club. We have a stop motion animation club, all sorts of really fun things, writing clubs. You are so lucky because the library that is in your neighborhood is the newest library in Virginia Beach. Beach, and it's the biggest library in Virginia Beach. This beautiful building is right in your backyard. It is a collaboration between uh, the Tidewater Community College and the city of Virginia Beach. So this beautiful library is open for everyone to use. Can't wait to see you. Come on out.